Hi, it's Mike. In this video we're going to take a look at um, a scenario where we want to look at the authorization um, and, and sort of improving the security on Azure Service Bus when you're doing a message exchange pattern that involves um, using a topic with some subscriptions off the back of that. So if we take a look at um, we take a look at service bus here. I've got a namespace called Acme Topic Auth Example, and the way I've set this up is in Service Bus Explorer. I've got a topic called My Topic, and I've got two subscriptions: Receiver One and Receiver Two, and they're both using the the default um, subscription rule, so both would get a copy of the message. And then in Visual Studio, I've got a a little um, Visual Studio solution here where I've got a client application which is a console app that will send a message and we can see if we if we quickly sort of have a look through this um, you can see it's going to do a basic um, bit of code here with with a service bus SDK it's going to call out and send a message and um, you know and then the, the receiver is going to um, spin up and it's going to be using the um, message receiver and it's going to simply display a, uh, get a message off the queue and just deserialize it and display the content. Okay, so let's take a quick look at this in action. And if we spin it up here you can see there's um, two console windows that will come up which have uh, green text and they're the receivers and then we have a console window with white text which is the message sender and if I click a button to send a message and you can see that's sent and both applications received a copy of the message and that's very typical um, typical behavior for the um, topic pattern now the challenge here is that I want to improve the security on this so if we take a quick look at the config file and you can see here in the config file I'm using the, the root manage shared access key and if we go back to um, Service Bus Explorer and like a lot of demos you use that key and that's kind of a sort of super user that gives you permission to do everything in that namespace so we want to move away from that and kind of lock things down a little bit so if we take a look at Service Bus Explorer and we can see on the topic we've got the ability to specify some authorization rules which can limit access to the topic however the challenge is that on the subscription we don't have that option to specify you know a, a, an exact credential for each subscription and if we check in the Azure portal as well we can see inside the um, inside the topic you know, we, we haven't got this option to, to specify some rules for the um, for the subscription itself so that gives us a little bit of a problem but we can work around that by doing a couple of things so firstly with um, service bus we can use a feature in there to help us with that so on a receiver you've got this option to have a forward to and what that means is we can actually forward messages from a subscription to a queue and then we can apply some security on the queue so if we take an example where we'll create a queue here called receiver one queue and if we create that and then we can go back to the subscription for receiver one and use the forward to option and we can update the queue so now anything that goes through the topic to receiver one will get forwarded to that receiver one queue instead the next step in the solution I've got the um, the console application that I built in a previous blog post to help me apply some security to, um, to my service bus namespace so in here what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to specify a SAS policy for sender and receiver one I'm going to give them a key and then I'm going to apply permission to give receiver one the listen permission on the queue and on the topic I'm going to give the sender send permission so if we go back to the um, Explorer here and the first thing we can do is we'll run the report to see what permissions we've got currently set up 
and you can see here in the report, although in the vi previous video I said that the report doesn't cover master level um, permissions that you see in the portal, it's only on the entity level, so we're looking at its specific permissions, not super user ones. And you can see here we currently haven't got any set up, but we do have our um, topic in our queue. So what we can do next is in the XML file here that I've just shown you in Visual Studio, we can go and import that SAS rule. And you can see here it's doing our updates and if we run the create report again you can see this time if we have a look at our report we'll see we've got our two two identities here and we've got receiver one has listen on the queue and sender has listen uh, sorry has send permission on the topic and you can see here a summary of our user level permissions so the next thing to do if we go back to the code base now and in Visual Studio we need to do a couple of things so firstly with the um, with a client application <coughs> we're going to comment out that um, the connection string that uses the the root um, identity and we're instead going to uncomment the one that uses the um, the sender shared access key. Next we're going to go to the receiver and we're going to do the same thing. So we're going to comment, uncomment the specific connection string and comment out the, um, the more general one. So you can see here we've got the receiver one key and Next we're going to leave the connection strings in receiver 2, they're not going to change. But the thing we do now need to do is in receiver 1, instead of listening on the subscription, we're going to comment that out and listen on the queue instead. And if we run the sample again, you can see we've got our console window for the client and our two console windows for the receivers here. You can see if we send a message, and that message is still received by by both. And the key thing being that instead of um, on receiver one, instead of listening to the subscription, we've used forward two, and we've sent it to the topic instead. Sorry, we've sent it from the topic to the to the queue. Now, just as a test, just to demonstrate um, what would happen here if we if we now go and um, I guess if we go and change the connection string uh, sorry the um, queue back and we want to listen on um, on the topic instead so with receiver 1 we've moved back to listen on the on the topic subscription for receiver 1 and we run the run the code now and you can see here suddenly we get an error message and an invalid um, signature for the token has been received and basically what that tells us is when it's tried to open a listener on the um, on the topic subscription it doesn't have permission to do that but if we jump back to the queue instead You can see everything now when you when you send a message it just works again so with that video we've demonstrated the ability to apply some more fine-grained security in Azure service bus by using forward to and SAS permissions to lock down which which receiver can access which queue and which topic